I'm Trevor Wiley, former senator, former state president of the Bahamas State Association of Elks, and president of the Bahamas Outstanding Student Foundation. On this uh, 48th anniversary of independence, I wish to take an opportunity to extend best wishes to Bahamians everywhere, near and far, as we celebrate yet another milestone in the life of our country, the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. We have much to give thanks and much to celebrate because God has been tremendously good to us. His overwhelming blessing has brought us 48 years from the day of July 10th, 1973 to this present day, July 10th, 2021. And we give thanks to the Founding Fathers, led by the late Right Honorable Selinden Oscar Pindling, the father of the modern Bahamas, and all the men and women who joined ranks with him to cost us to become a sovereign nation. And so today, as we reflect on where we have come, I believe there will be no independent celebration throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas as long as we live that will not reflect on our founding fathers, and especially the late Right Honorable Selinden Oscar Pinling. But I should like to just say what is significant about today for me, as I woke this morning, in my mind resonates a great speech delivered by the late Selinden that spoke of our finest warriors to step now, those Amazons of vision, those who do not shrink from the chill of the raging waves. And so if we can just go and pull that speech out of the archives and use that as our guideline for the future, for this generation and generations yet unborn. There will be no doubt in my mind that the Bahamas will be truly the place where God lives and truly the best little country in the world. And so I wish you a happy, happy anniversary Bahamas as we celebrate 48 years on the road to 50 years of independence. May God continue to bless all of us, individually and collectively. Our homes from Abaco in the north to Inagua in the south. May God bless us, one and all. Happy independence, Bahamas. Happy Independence, Bahamas.